Well, the income, and this says on earned by lending money, so I'm going to say on, uh, you know, will, will the income earned by lending money, uh, well, I assume it says to real estate investors reduce my Social Security benefits. So I'm going to correct this. Thing. Will the income earned by lending money uh, to real estate investors reduce my Social Security benefits or increase my taxes on them? So the first thing is, is there's the benefit itself. And uh, in this particular question, I looked it up and I believe they were 61. So they were receiving Social Security benefits before they reached the full retirement age. Full retirement age varies between 65 and 67. All right. The reason this is important is because once you reach that age, it doesn't matter what you make. Until you reach that age, you will have your benefits reduced on what you're receiving when you're pulling out Social Security early, 50 cents on the dollar once you get over $17,000 and like $80. It's indexed for inflation, but it's a little bit over $17,000. I think this year it's 17080 or something like that. What that means is if you are lending money, then that would be counted as income. However, if you're under the uh, full retirement age, they only count earned income. And so the question here is until you're at full retirement age, will the income earned by lending money to real estate investors reduce my Social Security benefits or increase my taxes on them? The answer is a big resounding no. This will not hurt you in any way. Once you hit full retirement age, now we have to be worried about how much of your Social Security becomes taxable. And uh, or actually before that as well. Yeah, it's anytime matter. you see it. Yeah. When they look at your taxability of the benefit, now we're looking at all sorts of income, everything that you make, and it's going to push it up. And so that's the one where uh, it's not that you reduce the benefit, but it becomes taxable. Yeah. So, I mean, fairly quickly, um, additional income starts making your Social Security benefits taxable. Uh, they're never going to be more taxed at more than 85% um, of your benefits are never going to be taxable. I'm saying this totally backwards, but. Uh, what it means is that. Uh, the most they're ever going to tax to your benefits is 85% of them. So if you're getting $20,000 of benefit, the most you'll ever pay tax on is $17,000. You'll still get $3,000 tax-free. The sad part is, is you didn't get really a deduction when they took it out in the first place. Right. So that's the old double tax that you hear about with Social Security. Uh, anything else you want to jump no, in there? Uh, yeah. So yeah. this is kind of fun stuff. It makes your brain go numb. So, I mean, you're, you're doing it right. You're actually asking the question. Just, yeah, yeah, just just, just the matter of when you should take Social Security is such a huge question. Yeah, because you can start taking it. When's the earliest? Is it I want to say 62, but maybe it's earlier for depending on their age. It does depend on their age. And so there is a before a threshold and after a threshold. And I forget what the threshold is. You know, what you do is you go to the Social Security Administration and you, and you run your scenarios and they'll give them all to you. Or you can contact us. We have folks we can send you out to that have the software. Because it is complicated, it's depending on what month you were born in and all that stuff, how many days. All, I mean, all of this gets factored in as to what, what's the earliest you can start receiving benefits. Once you start receiving the benefit, they let you receive that benefit only so long as your income is low. And it's your earned income. So if you're trying to get the benefit when you're 62 and you make too much money, you're going to lose a bunch of the benefit. If you start making, uh, if you're 62, you start pulling out the benefit and you have passive income, not that big of a deal. It doesn't reduce it. So that's really cool. Um, enough of that. It makes my head hurt. Social Security. Do not rely on Social Security. Here, there. I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Social Security is one of those things that when it was set up, the average life expectancy of people on Social Security was two years. It was really there to catch you if you were really old and, and didn't have any other uh, benefits. Now we use it almost like it's a retirement plan. That's not what it was intended for. That's why it doesn't work to do it. 